In this video, I'm going to show you the setup if you would like to connect your Monocaster Lite to a computer with or without uh, a mixer using Audacity. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cables I will need in the setup. So the first one is the XLR male to female and uh, the next one is the XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack and uh, this one here uh, you do not need to have both of them i'm just giving you options so that if you have this cord uh, then the, then you don't need to have this one and if you have this one you don't have this then you're good okay so this two cables here so this is dual uh, ts uh, mono to uh, trs so the one that has uh, two lines on there so this is so uh, to connect from mixer to this monocaster light. So again, if you do not have this one, you can use this one here. So this is the RCA, uh, the red and white, to uh, 3.5 mm TRS. So again, the one that has uh, two lines. So again, if you don't have this one, then you can use this one to connect the mixer to here. But again, as I mentioned earlier, I'll be showing you also uh, without using a mixer to connect uh, to uh, the computer using Audacity. So it's just uh, this uh, Monocaster light to Audacity uh, using, of course, uh, through this computer. And uh, I will be uh, using a headset and this is of course uh, to monitor the audio but if it's up to you if you want to use a speaker you can as well simply connect uh, an external speaker from uh, from the uh, uh, output on here then you should be good now uh, this one here this uh, cable normally comes when you buy a monocaster light so this is usb type a to usb type c and now let's start the connections Okay, first let me show you uh, to connect the monocaster light directly to a computer using Audacity. So let's try first without uh, connecting to a mixer. Okay, so for that we will use uh, this uh, XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack. So of course we will uh, connect uh, one end to here. Okay, and from here you just select uh, mic one or two it doesn't matter so let's connect to mic one and now as i mentioned earlier i will be using an earphone or a headset or a headphone whatever you have i'll connect this one to output so the reason why i am connecting this one to output is because this this is a headset so this one has a built-in microphone if i'm going to connect this one to the one that says headset the built-in microphone here will also capture the the audio or vocals so because i only wanted to to record the the audio coming out from this uh, microphone that's why i will not be connecting it to headset instead uh, to the output only okay and uh, so this one here i will be uh, connecting to uh, here so the one that says usb type c and then the other end of course is to the uh, usb port of this uh, laptop okay there you go Now, after you turn this on, go to your settings of your laptop and go to sounds. Just make sure your output and input is set to the mono caster. So again, it says your speaker is set already to mono as well as the microphone. So now once it's done, let's get out from there. Now, once you open Audacity, you should see uh, something like this. And now let me do a sample recording, which is the quickest and simple way in recording a song. So by recording both of them in one track. Okay, so let me uh, make it smaller. Okay, there you go. So we'll use this uh, background music or karaoke song or from YouTube. And by the way, before you record, take note, your loop back here has to be turned on. Otherwise, your background music audio will not be recorded, only your vocals. Okay, so let's now hit record from here. And I'm gonna play this one also over here. Is here we are back when we were before. 
Seems nothing ever changes We're back to being stranger Wondering if we ought to say Or head on out the door Okay, let me uh, pause it now and let's stop the recording So that's what it sounds like uh, without any edits done using Audacity The effects is just from the Monocaster light Anyway, in this uh, way of uh, recording, as I mentioned, is the quickest way. However, if, for example, you recorded your vocals too loud or your background music or karaoke song too loud, uh, it's a bit uh, harder to, uh, to edit it. So uh, again, this is just the quickest way. If this is uh, the way you wanted it to go, then uh, do this. However, the, the most advisable one is to record your vocals separately in a different track and your background music in a different track. So, okay, so let's, uh, let's do that. Let me give you a sample in doing it. Let me mute this one first for now. And now the only catch in uh, recording them separately is that you will need to have an mp3 uh, files as your uh, background music uh, otherwise you will not be able to add it here as your uh, track or another track okay so uh, I presume you can do your research how to uh, convert some YouTube songs into an mp3 file so let's say for example you know already how to do that okay let's pull up some mp3 files from here it's pretty much the same song that I played okay so let's go to file and let's hit import and let's go audio and this one here okay okay there you go so this is now the uh, background music so pretty much the same song that uh, I played but this is in an mp3 file so in this way the only thing is there is no lyrics so for example you cannot memorize the lyrics what you will do is uh, simply uh, google it and uh, search for the lyrics which is something like this plus you have this uh, background music on here okay let's uh, just do it that way and um, okay so what we will do is maybe let's uh, let's add a track on here so add a new track okay let's use stereo this time we're about to do a sample recording using two tracks one as the background music and then the other track is for the vocals okay let's try the recording i did my best but i guess my best wasn't good enough is here we are back where we were before Seems nothing ever changes We're back to being stranger Wondering if we ought to stay We're head on out the door Okay, there you go. Let's stop the recording. Same as earlier, the audio that you just heard is without any edits. Effects are just from the monocaster light. Uh, if you notice that the vocals is not as loud, so at least this one you will have the control to uh, to uh, make your vocals louder. Of course, if you are uh, if you are a pro on editing using Audacity, of course you can do that. Uh, you can amplify this one to make it uh, to uh, make it louder. I know there are a lot of ways uh, to uh, to edit your vocals, but at least if what I'm trying to point is that if, for example, your uh, your vocals is not as loud there is a way to make it uh, louder uh, to match with your background music and same with the background music so uh, and and a lot more and a lot more uh, edits you can do if for example you record your vocals uh, separately with your background music so as you can see the waves here are uh, bigger so that means this is now uh, louder than the first one honestly i am not yet a pro on editing songs using audacity i only know uh, the basic okay so again that's pretty simple this is how you record or make a song cover using audacity so of course uh, this is just uh, for the audio does not include a video and now let me show you if uh, we are going to uh, connect the mixer the um, the uh, process is actually uh, almost uh, the same it's just that we will be adding a mixer to it so i am just uh, i just remove the cord that goes uh, to here so this time we will use uh, this one here so xlr male to uh, female and uh, simply we will uh, of course uh, connect uh, one end here so maybe let's use uh, 
the number one, mic number one, and this one goes here. Okay, there you go. And now to connect your uh, mixer to, to here, we will use uh, this one here. So let's first uh, use uh, this one. So this is again, as I mentioned, this is the Dual TS uh, Mono to uh, 3.5 mm millimeter jack. So we will connect this one here to the one that says stereo out. And then this other end we will connect to here. So you just select mic one or two. So let's, let's maybe connect it this time to mic uh, two. Okay, and we're all set again. Okay, let me now uh, turn on this uh, mixer. So the process is pretty much the same. It's just that we added uh, a mixer to it. Now, the only advantage of the mixer is that you can do your, um, like you can do the mix here and then you can also, plus you can do the mix over here. Actually, again, as I mentioned, you can just uh, use this one uh, just this one alone and you can use this one alone but again if you want to, to add a mixer plus uh, this monocaster light for sure you can do that since we are using a condenser microphone we have to make sure to turn on the phantom power from this mixer there you go okay okay so now i am currently using this uh, microphone now over here and um, okay so what i'll do is uh, i'm just going to use uh, the same so this one here i'm just going to mute i'll mute this one and uh, i will uh, unmute uh, this uh, background music and we'll we'll do the same so we will uh, record using the mixer so we'll use this empty track on here to use uh, let's say if we're going to record um, the same the same uh, song okay so let's uh, Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, prepare this one. Okay, let's uh, start recording. Give me a second. Okay, so let's uh, try recording now. Okay, let's hit record. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Cause here we are back. Changes. We're back to being stranger, wondering if we ought to stay or head on out the door. Okay, there you go. Let's stop now the recording. Again, the sample recorded song that you just heard is without any edits from Audacity. Effects is from the Monocaster light only. What I only notice uh, with the mixer is like your your lyrics is more uh, clearer compared to just using this monocaster light. Uh, okay, and uh, now let's uh, let's uh, use uh, this uh, other uh, cord on here. Okay, so what I will do, I'm just gonna remove. I'll remove uh, this one here. Okay, so I'll remove this one and we will connect the uh, other one so pretty much it's the same thing i will uh, connect this one this time to uh, here so rec out red to red white to white and then this one here is you can connect to uh, same mic one or two so maybe let's uh, use mic one this time everything else should be the same okay so now let's do a sample recording again Okay, and before we do a sample recording, let me mute this one again. Um, okay, let's mute everything except the backgrounds of music. Okay, so now let's do a sample. Let's uh, add a track. Okay, so this is where we're going to be uh, recording. Okay, there you go. So let's uh, do a sample recording again. And let's hit record. Okay, and again, let's pull up the lyrics. I did my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough Cause here we are back where we were before Seems nothing ever changes We're back to being stranger Wondering if we ought to stay or head out 
Okay, let's stop the recording. Again, a sample recorded song that you just heard is without any edits. Uh, effects is uh, just from the mixer and from the monocaster. What I'm just trying to show you that uh, using this uh, different chord, the uh, RCA to uh, TRS uh, does work also to connect your mixer to your monocaster light. As I mentioned earlier, the advantage of doing this way, you can edit the vocals separately from the background music. And there you go, this is pretty much how you connect your monocaster light with or without a mixer to a computer using Audacity. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again guys for watching. If you like this type of videos, please uh, give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.